Hey guys, it's Brené. So for today, we're going to be making some desserts with some fruits. Now here, I'm featuring my little niece. She's seven and she's the one that is going to be uh, cooking for us today. So as you can see, we're going to start with one peach and then she adds one green apple. The first thing that she did is added one tablespoon of butter on the pan to melt. As you can see, the quality of the video isn't the best it's because I was recording with my cell phone actually. She used medium heat for this and just waited for the batter to melt. Once the batter is melted, she added the peach sliced. She added actually, uh, as I mentioned before, green apple, but she added it later. And that's because she wasn't sure she wanted to go for it. But I would highly suggest you to add your green apple right now. Then while our peaches were getting brown, she added some brown sugar. First she added one quarter of a cup of brown sugar, then she added a bit more, which is kind of one eighth a cup of su brown sugar. Then your brown sugar is going to start to melt and then you're going to be adding, well, we added some cinnamon because we love cinnamon, we're obsessed with that. But yeah, this is personal preference. It gives a lot of flavor, that's all I can say. And then once you add your cinnamon, you're just going to let the whole thing in a low temperature for your fruits to just get more flavor into them. Then you're just going to add a handful of nuts and you're going to place them in a different pan. Now we use the same one as you can see is, you know, used, but uh, that's because we didn't want to, you know, clean up another one. So if you want to go and clean up another one, just go ahead and do it. And then to that, we're going to be adding just a pinch of uh, brown sugar. We're going to be making this kind of like caramel nuts. And honestly, this made the difference in the flavor. Adding the nuts to the pan and then, uh, you know, adding the, the brown sugar. We try them without doing this, just like uh, regular nuts. And then we kind of were comparing the flavors and this one made the difference. And here we're just combining those three the nuts the peaches and the green apple. So this is just for the flavors to just um, integrate and just everything goes mixed together. And this is pretty much it for this recipe. It's honestly super, super fast. We did the whole thing in like five minutes. Tastes amazing. And the best part is that it's super healthy for you. I think because of the fruits and all that stuff. And after that, we tried it with some whipping cream and it tastes even better or just, you know, some um, vanilla ice cream. I guess that will make it as healthy as this one that I'm showing. But anyways, I just wanted to share this idea. If you liked it, don't forget to share this one, subscribe to my channel for more stuff and share it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.